if I ever get around to ROM hacking, I had like some of my own ideas for weird things. Um, and two of which are, oh geez, are a, uh, a forced evolution item. So you basically, it'd be kind of like a evolutionary stone only for anyone. Um, but I think it would do something to the DVs. Oh my god, there's another one. Uh, that would like, in general, make it weaker. So you would get your evolution, but you, it would be a, a bad evolution, right? Like, and that kind of like, uh, fuck. It comes from the Pokemon comic where, uh, I think it was Red is in Mount Moon and he sees a, a rocket give a right on a syringe and turn into a right or a horn turn into a right on. Um, that's kind of where that idea came from. Uh, and then the other one I've got is a uh, a I should just surrender. Um, A de-evolution spray, like, uh, the Pokemon trainer item in, uh, TCG. Yeah, that, I mean, well, here's the thing, though. It's like, if you're doing that, if you're going that length, you're probably going to use it on someone you haven't been training, right? Like... The whole, the whole design philosophy of that would be like, oh, I just caught this fucking... This Grimer in the fucking weeds, right? But Grimer sucks shit. So I'm going to give it this fucking... This steroid, and I'm going to force it to evolve into a muck, right? Like, you're going to use it on something you just caught. Um... So they're not really going to have any static experience yet. Like, I don't know. I think it would have to be in fucking with the DVs. Right? Because that could actually... That equates to actual uh, drops in... Uh, in stats. Or maybe it would be like a 40% like a penalty to the base stats, you know, it just adjusts the stat level uh, by a certain percentage or something, I don't know. But the whole idea would be, like, you get your evolution, but it's a weaker evolution. Which kind of partially cancels out the whole point of turning it into something in the first place. And then I figured the de-evolution spray would have a lot of uh, utility, like, especially in um, Pokemon who evolve but then don't learn anything, like a Vileplume or a, a, uh, a Clefable. Like, somehow you found one in the wild and you wanted to actually teach it moves, you can de-evolve it. Um, and then train a little bit and then re-evolve it later. Okay, you ready for this? Look at this 4D chest I'm about to do. <laughs> Kill it in one shot. The exact plan. Damn. 
I was kind of considering tossing around the idea of getting, like, I've had this, this goal of mine for a long time to get something I can play Pokemon on my TV so I can then put it on the capture card uh, and run it off that. Uh, and it's just, it's been the damnedest, like, for these games being on everything, it's been just a hell of a time getting it to, like, getting that idea to work. And, like, sadly, I think my cheapest option, bizarrely, is to buy a used N64, a copy of Pokemon Stadium, and then, uh, a transfer pack, and... It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. It was like I found one on eBay for like 50 bucks and then 64 and then I think Stadium was like 30 and then another 15-ish for the transfer pack. So that would be fun. And I could actually stream some fucking Pokemon Stadium too. That's a great game. Theoretically, I could do the same thing with Stadium too, but that's like... I couldn't find that under 80 bucks. Now we're gonna stand. Okay, now here's a programmer question for you. Theoretically, Let's say that I wanted to sequence break from the very beginning. And I was going to do that by changing an item that you pick up on the overworld um, to make it a one of the drinks, like a bottle of water, lemonade, one of those, right? Um, what would I have to do to change the data of an item that's on the ground to switch its item number from that to one of the items that you can give to the uh, the guard so you can get into Saffron and therefore explore the whole area rather than going around. I'd mostly be interested in like Getting it around uh, Viridian. Oh, hey, I just learned to move. Didn't I? I always liked Kabuto. Is one of the few Pokemon in Gen 1. Um, yeah, an item that's already there. Uh, well, actually, what would be easier? Making a new one? Like, putting a new item down somewhere? Uh, as a trigger? Or as a, uh, as a flag? And then making that the bottle of water or replacing something that already exists. Or a hidden item, I guess, too. We could do that. Well, not an HM, but like a item that's like has no icon. Uh, but I always liked that Kabuto could learn Absorb here because it's one of the few kind of forward thinking design philosophies that we see become far more evident later on when everything gets like an upset move. Like, is it just a simple matter of changing the the fucking item code from one to the other, or is there a little more to it? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. And would that uh would that fuck anything up? So let's let's say I'm trying to think of an item that's not really needed. There's a repel somewhere, right, that you just pick up off the ground. What if we fix that to, like, a bottle of water? That you can then, uh, you get south of Cerulean, and you go through the gatehouse, you give it to him, and now you've got Saffron, and you've got the rest of the areas open up without having to go through Rock Tunnel. Okay. I'll add that to the list of my stupid ideas to fuck everything up. Or better question, how hard is it to actually just turn that flag off? Like, switch it from you need to go get the bottle of water to you've gotten the bottle of water and you don't need to anymore. I 
I don't know why I'm fighting these two guys particularly. There's no reason for it. Maybe it's just because I can beat them. Would that just be easier then? Changing one bit check or changing a hex value? Or are we kind of talking like very minute levels of effort? Oh, I could be absorbing this thing. What am I doing? Ooh, here's an idea. Fucking vampire mode. Alright, so get this. There is no paralyze, there's no freeze, there's no burn. There's kind of a burn. Well, there is no burn. There's no status effects in the entire game except poison, and everything is poison. Poison is just a permanent status effect, right? But all moves, every move, restores health. There is no... Uh, there's no poker centers, there's no healing items. It's just fucking vampire mode. You're literally just sucking the life out of your opponents to live. Okay. I have to play around with it. I'll just I'll we'll we'll, we'll fucking we'll sit down one day and have a uh I'll get a new hex editor and we'll just sit down and have a programming stream sometime. See what I can fucking break in a, uh, a Pokemon red cart. I would imagine it's a lot of turning things off. And of course, it'd be unbalanced as all shit. But no one's ever played Pokemon for balance. 